Hello everyone, Epic Dame here, and I am currently picking some fruit from these orchard trees. What are you doing, Epic Dame? What are you doing with those orchard trees, you might ask? Well, this is Minecraft Feed the Beast um, on a server that is hosted by... Look at these bottles. Look at them! That is maple syrup, and it comes off of this tree. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's hosted by... Jog 1977. James the Jogwin um, is kind enough to let me run around in the playground that is uh, FTB Infinity and I have quietly or not so quietly if you watch his videos I'm on them um, and of course I am because we collaborate so often which is great but but it's like oh this this could or could not be a surprise to to you uh, but I, uh, I, I, when I'm not on, uh, vanilla or a server, uh, playing bingo or otherwise, I literally come over here on FTB and I, I have been making a task of collecting all of Pam's Harvest Craft food items, um, and that's, that's what I do with FTB. Everybody else makes giant machines and, uh, works with redstone mm. and, uh, what uh, flux capacitors and gigawatts and and lead pipes and stuff with cactus and uh, flu fluid ducts. Uh, mm -hmm, yes, uh, fluxy fluxies. I know sprockets. I know what I'm doing. Um, and I I I'm like, well, let's let's talk about food. Let's talk about let's talk about all the delicious avocados and bananas in the world that we can stuff into our face and and make delicious recipes out of so this is my orchard and I do have I do have a little bit of a flimsy sprocket something doodad on my back here that was uh, heavily recommended to me by the Shire Dag who also plays in this general area um, so like if he if we're working on something uh, co-op and he gets tired of um, how slow I am. Um, he uh, he gave me the lowest level of jetpack, and I have these long fall boots that prevent me from going super high, then dropping and dying. And those uh, those were, I believe, given to me by James, by the penguin. So they both have done their job to make sure that I don't die as easily, because FTB can be uh, unforgiving in terms of both height, things to explore, the amount of stuff to do, um, and so having the boots and the lowest level jetpack seems to be standard issue sort of stuff that you have to wear on FTB. No big deal. I, uh, so this is, um, not this dark castle over there, that is the Shire Dad. Um, and he has all sorts of sprockets and widgets and doodads in there. Um, mostly the, uh, the orchard and the farm, these are very me. Um, I, I'm gonna maybe build like a restaurant, maybe do some fishing, um, and just see if I can get most of the recipes done at this point. I'm gonna eat this banana, ha 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 ha. Um, I am just filling up with all sorts of fruits and what's it's and gizmos. Um, fruits and what's it's and gizmos. Yeah, this, this stuff doesn't get complicated. Yeah, I need to go put all that away. Hold on, just give me a second. Let's slam this lemon into this better barrel down here. So in FTB, one of the problems, or one of the great things, like it's both, it's both, um, is that there's so much to do and so many items that you could collect that it is really hard to organize it all. And there are several mostly mechanized and or complicated solutions for storage, which end up being both beautiful, but also way above my like level of natural game progression um i'm i'm a pretty i don't know i just i tend to keep it pretty simple um so my simple solution for an organization problem was at least with food because oh my goodness there are hundreds of food items was to decide how i wanted to plant my farm um the orchard is not alphabetized but the farm that's over there <laughs> it's alphabetized <laughs> anyway um 
so I decided that, uh, you know, if I, if I just felt like, and I do find it really enjoyable, tell me if you do this. I like digging holes, and I like farming, and then I have all the items, and then I just, I just put them away. I just put them away right there. I don't do harvesters. That That's something you can do. You can mechanize picking of the fruits, um, for example. But I, I just enjoy doing it by hand and then putting it in the, uh, these lovely, lovely better barrels, which are, um, kind of like chests. I think their maximum is 64 stacks of whatever. So, um, for example, these are al alphabetized and, uh, you know, I can just come over here and be like, ah, look, it is a rutabaga and I have three stacks, 64 plus 13. There is something very satisfying about that to me. I mean... Who wouldn't be so happy with their digital rutabagas? Life, life doesn't need to be more complex than that. So, let, this is uh, this is my Pam's farm building with uh, some basic vanilla Minecraft crops over here in this corner. Um, I just trampled right there, but I don't think it matters because the the melons and the pumpkins and what have you. So, and that's because some of Pam's recipes also use uh, the vanilla Minecraft. Oh no, I trampled again. No, that's that's easy to fix. Oh, okay. So, uh, that yeah, that's it. And I could have and will probably push out with my growing of food stuff collection. Um, I decided to conquer Pam's very specifically Pam's Harvest Craft, that singular mod, I wanted to conquer it first. And I do believe I have gotten to the point where I have captured all the Pokemon of the foodstuffs for Pam's, and it took quite a long while. Um, so now I can make all manner of, 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 of ingredients of, of foods. And uh, look, I have some saltwater taffy here, and it's delicious and I can eat it and also I like to make things for the other players primarily I have mostly only run into James and the Shire Dad though there is another player on here um, the Eli Elio his name is much longer than that um, I haven't had a chance to bestow upon him any foods but one day I will bestow upon him the tasty tasty foods and I can make almost all the foods now so I feel pretty adequate with that. But what's this building? What's this building, 8-Bit Dame? What is, what is this? Well, I, this is one of my bigger builds. I really enjoy this floor. Um, if you take a look at it from a slightly higher advantage point, it has some very decorative properties, and I'm very, very pleased with it. But this is the Behold. Um, so, other than getting really interested in, uh, Pam's items that of course led me over to um, apiaries because uh, Pam has some some apiary items which I will show you for bees and honey which which makes sense but then immediately I got confused with bees and honey because anybody who plays FTB um, also understands that there is a bee mod um, I think this is uh, N N Natura or better bees or, or oh geez anyway bees are a thing and there are hundreds of bees there are probably more bee complications than there are food complications and I got I got enamored with bees immediately and so I both started collecting food and then I uh, then I started collecting bees and then quickly outgrew outgrew my space that I first made for bees uh, if that makes sense um, and then decided that it was time to expand operations and think about that building a little bit a little bit better so I didn't make the elevators and I didn't do all the piping that we saw right there that has been the Shire dad who enjoys all the flummoxing and the sprockets and the and the hoozy gadgets what's it's um and so I depend upon him to uh, sprocket it up and I just I sort of just play around with the bees themselves so this building is my bee hold it has three levels and it has this garden level on the top very specifically so that I can work with bees and I made certain just for my own fun and experimentation that the bee hold was on the divider between a very hot and moist jungle biome and a very temperate or less hot normal let's call it normal normal meadows forest less less hot less less humid um, 
So all the bees over here are just like perfectly happy because they're like, yeah, you got some flowers, you got some nice cool breezes, I'm going to buzz around and I'm going to make a thing. And they do. And so these uh, apiaries don't need any climate control. And then, uh, you know, just a basic overview. I am not, I am not explaining bees in this video. No, 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 no. In fact, if you're watching this and you're like, oh my gosh, AP Dame, you got into bees and you actually understand bees. One, I don't. I sort of kind of understand bees, but I am, um, I believe my level of bee expertise uh, is somewhere around amateur beekeeper. That's me. Just amateur. Like, look, I've only found 32 species out of, I mean, look, look, I barely, ah, uh, barely scratched, scratched the surface of the bees. Um, go, uh, go look up generic bees, Beecademy. And uh, that's still, it's a little bit dated, only slightly. And uh, I've talked to the Shire Dad and, and, and we have contemplated uh, trying to put together a video tutorial of everything that we understand about bees when we actually know what we're talking about, which won't be for a while. So don't expect me to explain bees entirely, but I'm just kind of showing you where we're at. So these are alvearies, which are like, think of them as really big bee boxes. In fact, 27 bee boxes um, put together with special controls that can either make them hot or cold or dry. Um, so, or, or, or very, very moist. You could have it all the way through water bees. You could have it all, you know, like, because bees, apparently, man, there are water bees and they just want to be dunked in water all the time. They are swimmers. They enjoy the Caribbean. They do cruises. I mean, these bees are serious and you have to pay attention to the, what they like or else they turn their nose up you and they don't invite you to the parties anymore. You don't get to go to the luau's. It's really depressing. So you want to make sure that you're having the, the hospitality um, expectations for your bees down because then I mean you're just you wouldn't be much of a, a beekeeper at all would you no um, also you can uh, play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with your bees and uh, expose them to radiation and then mutate them and um, you know perfectly humane and and uh, 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 not oh yes this one is not automated because you don't want your mutated bees going amok and then taking over society and pretty soon you're the one that's in the alveary cautionary tale kids Cautionary tale. All right, so this is this is the this is the bee hold. This one tree here is for the type of bees that say I like leaves instead of flowers. So there you go. There's a tree, and this over here is what Pam's bees. Because guess what? Pam's bees have nothing to do with the rest of the bee nation. There, I mean, like, and we're talking about a, you know, you saw twenty three blah 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 blahs. Yeah, Pam's has nothing to do with it, and it took me. Mm, a confused week to realize that Pam's bees had nothing to do with it. So, right. So that's 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 a food. That's a food that I got. It's over here. Pam's bees and her little simple alvearies really don't take much work at all. Pam's bees can be conquered in one session, and we can talk about them. And uh, I could probably, I could probably teach you about Pam's bee. I feel like I know everything about Pam's bees. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like knowing your ABCs. So it's about it's about that level of difficulty. Once once you got down your twenty six letters, you're good to go. So Pam's bees is just super easy. Um, and yep, yeah, that's my kitchen. That's a turtle. I don't know what else I could really show you. Um, we do have some uh, NPCs down here. Some alveary apiary uh, bee apiarists a beekeeper. They actually just put bee bee beekeeper in there, don't they? Yeah. They do. And all of these machines uh, I did not build and the Shire Dad is really into, uh, let's, let's call it late game bee work. And boy, boy howdy is that, that's a thing. I, I don't, I don't understand it, but it involves, you know, I, I kind of understand where those seven machines, eight machines, something, 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 kind of, sort of, I'm really not that great at it. I understand these three machines. This is seed oil, this is water, and this is honey. That's a tank of honey. And uh, bees have, like I said, they have mm, preferences to how you build their things. So you might need some seed oil or you might need some honey to make them happy. It's all, it makes all logical FTB sense, really. I mean, I can, I can get down with it. So, yes, that is FTB, and I am not, I'm not going to show you more of the Shire Dad's place. Shire Dad can show you more of the Shire Dad stuff. 
Um, you should let me know in the comments if you want to see more of the techno gadget wizardry weirdness that the Shire Dad has gotten up to. Um, I mean, look at those bookshelves. Look at them. Look, look at this dark crystal. Look, look, look at it. Um, so there's things, and I, I mean, I have to say, this is just the floating castle part. You have to imagine there's an elevator right down there, and you have to, where does that go? We don't know, but I, I can tell you that it is vast and somewhat disturbing. It is a bit dark over here. It's a little bit necromancy over here, a little bit dark side over here. So we gotta, we gotta, with caution, with approach with caution. Um, do not anger the Shire Dad Beast. Uh, he, he, he does try to keep his energy very green, though. We, we do try to be mindful of our energies. So, I mean, there's that. At least she's green. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for joining me on this little tour of FTB. I, uh, I do have... Ooh, see, that's what the long fall boots are for, even though I fell into the water. Let's eat something. And I will show you my probably still favorite item of the whole game. It's this guy right here. So, uh... Yeah, I'll leave out on this. I, you know, my little put 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 jetpack. This is the lowest level jetpack. There's crazy jetpacks that do crazy things, but you fly up here and then you you put on your glider, and you're like, I'm an amazing, amazing flyer that I can look at. Ooh, hey. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this uh this episode. Um, I enjoy gliding about and looking down upon uh the the land. It's actually really soothing and super fun so like I can hunt I this is how I hunted for the fruits on the trees and at nighttime that's I mean I could at least say that bee tip if you're looking for the beehives all you gotta do is go out at night and they glow like torches so it makes it really easy to locate them um so yep yeah, that's uh that's this so let me know if you want to see more of the infinity land it's very confusing and I really I've probably done a pretty botchy job on showing it to you, which is why I haven't done it yet. But uh, I, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye! Wow, that was a really long note. I could have held that for a really long time. I could have done a super note.